What's up, Lay Bays? Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you're new here. As y'all can tell, I am in a fabulous mood today. I'm feeling energized and well rested and I'm about to get in an awesome leg day. I am in the parking lot of the gym, but speaking that into existence, today's gonna be an awesome workout. So definitely stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below and click that subscribe button so that you do not miss the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here and I hope you enjoy. So of course we are going to start with a good stretch which i don't always show in my videos but i do stretch before my workouts and i try and stretch after them as well but it's just important to loosen up your muscles it helps reduce or prevent injury also helps with um, making sure that you're flexible enough so i would definitely say please don't forget your stretching guys when you are doing any workout upper body lower body whatever day you're working on stretch 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 And then I'm just warming up with some side steps. So if you guys go through this workout, um, definitely I would say for just a, a good warm up, I usually do like two sets of like 10, you know, back and forth, nothing too crazy. Um, just want to get my thighs working as well as, you know, my glutes, get that a little bit activated. So, you know, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just going to do some um, regular squats with my heavy resistance band. And I did two sets of 10 um, here as well. And another two sets of 10 of hip back up abduction, excuse me, but I actually split it up. So I did set of five, turn around, did a set of five, turn back around, did a set of five, and then turn back around again and did a set of five. So basically alternating between that, but a total of two sets of 10 on each side. Now to actually get into this workout. So I'm gonna start with um, some elevated heel goblet squats. So I actually did three sets of eight. I'm gonna try and put the amount of sets and reps um, on here as well for you guys, um, just in case that you wanna try this full workout because it was absolutely a killer. But here I'm just focusing on depth and making sure that I am not going too fast because I really am making sure that I'm feeling this in my quads, which I absolutely did. Um, so like I mentioned, I'm gonna do three sets of eight reps um, per set and just really trying to engage um, my quad muscles as well as my glutes. So of course, with that being the, fa the factor, you wanna make sure that you are squeezing your glutes when you get to the top and just a nice slow motion so that you're engaging your muscles effectively. And on most leg days, I'm gonna incorporate the Romanian deadlift almost always. Um, I mean, there may be exceptions, but for the most part, I'm constantly doing RDLs. But today I wanted to really focus on my quads. So I did a heel elevated RDL, which helps with that and really engaging you know, the quads when you're doing this particular exercise.
And today was not a heavy lifting day for me. So I decided to just do a um, essentially very close to a body weight squat. I did add the barbell. So that added 45 pounds um, to it, but three sets of 12 here, nice and easy. And I was focusing more so on my depth here to make sure that I was going as low as possible since I didn't add any weight to the barbell. And of course we have one of the killer exercises for a good leg day and that of course is the bulgarian split squat so i'm actually going to show you guys two variations um you'll see here that i am pretty much kind of sitting back into it and my back is pretty straight that makes it more quad focused when you are positioning you know that way however you'll see next that i'm gonna Kind of lean forward a little bit and you know really kind of sit back into it but you'll see that my back does look a little different and when i do the bulgarian squits split squat excuse me that way that is a more glute focused way to do it so if you are looking to kind of like switch it up focus more on your quads or focus on more on your glutes then that's a good way to kind of you know change the variation of that and then i'm also going to do it with adding um weight to it so that's probably why I was so done after today because I did so many split squats and I normally don't do that, but I really wanted to work my quads today. Like I'm really trying to, you know, build muscle down there. So that's what I was really focusing on. So you'll see it was very challenging. I am not going to lie to you guys. It was very challenging. My legs were literally burning, but I felt so good after this workout. And not gonna lie, it can be so hard trying to <laughs> position yourself when you're doing Bulgarian split squats. Like, it's so difficult. Make sure that you're in the right position, that you're not too far from the bench. Like, I'm falling all over the place, but whatever. It's all in good fun. I got myself together and I finished my set. So that's all that matters. And then going into my sets of reverse lunges, so those are really going to work the entire lower body, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. Um, so some of the tips that I would say for, you know, reverse lunges, definitely adding weight is always a good thing to make it more challenging. And then just making sure that you're not stepping back too far. And you're just having this nice, you know, right angle um, between the back leg and also the front leg, you know. Um, so that's something that I used to have trouble with, you know, just stepping so far back and it just wasn't working. That's because it was incorrect form. And then finally, um, which is one of my favorite leg day finishers, the leg extension, um, again, focusing on those quads. So I actually worked on some single leg leg extensions as well as both legs. So I did about 30 pounds per leg and then just pretty much doubled it when I did both legs. Um, so again, just trying to finish off today, you know, with some with some quad work, I didn't want to keep it too heavy because I wanted to focus more on lighter weight and um, increasing the amount of reps. So I did a lot of reps um, per set. And then like I said, I also incorporated both legs and then did some sets after that. So really a great finisher and just kind of, you know, wrapped up this incredible leg day so, so well.
y'all that workout was absolutely insane it's like when you're mad at your personal trainer for killing you and then you realize you're your personal trainer but it was it felt so good I'm, I'm at home now i'm about to make me a protein shake to recover properly but definitely like this video comment down below and if you try this workout definitely let me know because it is a killer one and we are going for these gains all 2021 getting ready for hot girl summer thank you guys so much for joining me and i will see you in the next one bye